Welcome to Daily Bible Benefits. Today is Wednesday, January 10th. On this day in 1901, a drilling derrick at Spindle Hill near Beaumont, Texas, produces an enormous gush of crude oil, coating the landscape for hundreds of feet and signaling the event of the American oil industry. Today on the podcast, I'll be talking about Paul Appeals to Caesar, Acts chapter 25, verses 1 through 12. Now when Festus was come into the providence, after three days he ascended from Caesarea to Jerusalem. Then the high priest and the chief of the Jews informed him against Paul and besought him, and desired favor against him that he would send forth him to Jerusalem, lay in wait in the way to kill him. But Festus answered that Paul should be kept at Caesarea, and that he himself would depart shortly thither. Let them therefore, said he, which among you are able, go down with me and accuse this man, if there be any wickedness in him. And when he had tarried among them more than ten days, he went down unto Caesarea, and the next day, sitting on the judgment seat, commanded Paul to be brought. And when he was come, the Jews which came down from Jerusalem stood round about and laid many and grievous complaints against Paul, which they could not prove, while he answered for himself, neither against the law of the Jews, neither against the temple, nor yet against Caesar have I offended anything at all. But Festus, willing to do the Jews a pleasure, answered Paul and said, Will thou go up to Jerusalem, and there be judge of these things before me? Then said Paul, I stand at Caesar's judgment seat, where I ought to be judged. To the Jews have I done no wrong, as thou very well knowest. For if I have been an offender, or have committed anything worthy of death, I refuse not to die. But if there be none of these things whereof these Accuse me, no man may deliver me unto them. I appeal unto Caesar. Then Festus, when he had conferred with the council, answered, As thou appealed unto Caesar, unto Caesar shall thou go. Seek counsel for more than one. Here is a caution about seeking experience, counsel. It is dangerous to go on just one person's experience. Mark Twain told about a cat who sat on a hot stove lid. That experience taught the cat never to sit on a hot stove lid again. But further, that cat never sat on a cold stove lid either. He took more from the experience than it had had to offer. If we're going to talk about experiences, we would be wise to talk to a number of people who have faced similar decisions and extract directions from the combined council. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Bible Benefits. Have a good and godly day.